Hello and welcome to Excelibur. In this video, I will show you how you can create your own shortcut keys using macros and use them in Excel. We know a way that while recording a macro in Excel, we can define a shortcut key using the control key. Okay. So first I will show that method. So we have to go to the developer tab and if we click on record macro, here we have an opportunity to define a shortcut key and we can write any alphabet or numeric number here to define a shortcut key. And then once this macro is recorded, it can be executed on this shortcut key. So this is the basic and by default method that is available. But what I will show you in this video is different and you can combine the shift keys, control keys and the alt keys with your alphabets or characters and generate your own specific shortcuts. Okay, so to do this, we will open the visual basic editor from the developer tab of our Excel sheet. And here we'll go to this workbook and make the selection of workbook here in this drop down, the first drop down on the left. And on the right drop down, we'll select activate. So we have to use this event workbook activate. Okay. Now on this event, we have to define or write a small code, which is application dot on key. Okay. And then we define a particular type of shortcut. So if we see on the Excel sheet that I've mentioned here, so if we want to use an alt key, we used to, uh, we need a percentage sign. If we want to use a control key, we use, uh, can use a caret sign. If we want a shift key, then we use a plus sign. So for example, I want to use the shift key. So I'll write plus and then some kind of an alphabet or something. Okay. So we have to start with the double quotes, opening with the double quotes then a plus sign and let's say for example n and then close the bracket and then no comma and then we have to define as it suggests that we have to define a procedure for this so for example we write the name of the procedure as test one and close this okay so this is our definition of the key and on hitting this key will run this procedure test one. Okay. Now we'll define this test one procedure to do that. We'll right click here and insert a module. And in this module, we'll define sub test one. Okay. And for example, we'll show a message box which says, okay, I'll do this. Okay. So whenever you are on this worksheet and you hit this combination of shift and N key, then this procedure test one will be executed. Let's try to execute this. We go to the worksheet. To run and check this functionality on your Excel sheet, you need to save the sheet, close and open the sheet again. So I've done this. Okay. And now if I hit a shift N, you will see that the message box appears, which says, okay. So this is the way you can define a shift key. Okay. Now let's go back to our visual basic editor. Go to the workbook again. And here let's define one more shortcut key. And in this case, I'll define a shift and an alt key together. So in this case, I have to define a percentage sign also. And for example, I take K here and I write another procedure test two. So I've combined these two combinations which is a combination of the shift key and the alt key and K. And then 
I will insert another module. Okay, and here I will define a message box which will say done. Save the sheet. Then I will have to close and open the sheet again and come back to this so that the sheet activates and this code becomes active. So now I have closed and opened the sheet again. Now let's try this shift alt and K keys. So you see that the message box for done appears. So in this way, you can define your own shortcuts. Some shortcuts might not work because they are by default defined for Excel and they might not execute in the same way that you want. But most of the shortcuts you can define according to your own wish. I hope this would be very helpful in your work. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, Excelibur. Thank you very much.